you have only wanted one thing your entire life that goes on as long as you're alive and you want that one thing because if you can achieve it then you would have everything else you would have all the money you wanted you would have the right career you would be excited about it all you would have the love of your life you would not be self-conscious anymore you would have all this confidence you would be motivated to get up and do whatever it was that you wanted to do in your life and all you had to do was to develop that one thing and that one thing is you wanted to become yourself now you may think that doesn't make a lot of sense but if you're having difficulty in your lives right now, if you don't have that relationship, if you don't like your work, if you hate your job, if you hate your career, if you're in a troublesome relationship, if you don't have all the money you want, it's because you didn't do the first thing, and that was to become yourself. And I can talk about this because it's a challenge, and you have to be willing to take on the challenge, which I did, because I had a life that was filled with all kinds of trouble, all kinds of disasters, illnesses is failure I mean everything you can imagine but a lot of successes along the way and so then that, that that's what kept me going you see but I still wasn't at that place where I had that one thing because I couldn't accept all of me that's all and so now that's why this is the only work that I do when I work with a client it's only to guide you to who you're meant to be, your authentic self. And that takes a breaking down of your thinking, breaking down of your limited thinking because you can't believe that you could be the person who would offer something to the world that would make a difference. And that's never true because everybody is born. Every single person is born with that ability. I was thinking about something the other day. I'm going, what made Martin Luther King Sr. decide at some point that he was going to create something that would allow his son, Martin Luther King Jr., to make a difference in the world, to offer something that would change the world over time. Because he had the idea, he had this vision, and he decided to believe it. You see, because he was in traveling, and he saw things are not right in the world. Things need to be different. And so he looked at Martin Luther, who you know brought us Lutheran Church and Protestants and breaking away from the old structures and so he decided I'm going to make a difference and so he adopted the name and then called his son Martin Luther King Jr. that's how that happened so at some point we come to a place in our lives where we're going to decide to believe what we've been given because every single person have has it it's it's not possible for you to argue that you don't have it or that you came in with something strange and odd that nobody that's no value that's never true it's only in your thinking we only live in our thinking we only perceive because how we've been trained how we decide to think about things when i was a kid i was um i had visions very early on when i was young and it frightened me and i and some of you might relate to this because i thought what is happening i was in visions at night when i was a kid and i didn't want to sleep because what's going on i came to find out later i was having intuitive awareness and i started growing that and it kept coming but I didn't trust it you see and I didn't believe it and I kept doubting it just like my clients you doubt that feeling that you have inside of what you're meant to do but that feeling is always correct you are just the one who is denying it because I did that I don't told the story um, which I'll probably write and put out there but it's about when I was uh, I spent months in a dark room it was just it it was a dark room because that's all I could handle. I was suffering from cluster headaches, which I had suffered for decades, for many, many years, and it's the most horrible experience that you ever want to go through. And um, I couldn't be in the light, so I, that's why I had to be in a dark room all the time. Uh, and I'd go outside, and it was just too, too terrible. And then you want to kill yourself because the pain is so intense. You, you just want to die. And eventually, they stopped. And they stopped because I found that one thing. I decided that I was going to become me. I was going to stop denying what I had been given. I was going to stop saying, no, this couldn't be who I'm meant to be. Especially when I look at the world and say, wait a minute, people don't know this. People don't know that they could have everything that they want if they just became themselves. And I developed something that can help people do that. Ah, 
Now, why would I deny that, you see? But now I'm not. <laughs> you, money, you probably saw that I had an online program, but it's, it's not open right now, but it will be. Um, but when I work with you in person, it's the same thing. Um, the program will be open again. There's a waiting list now because I'm taking it and it's going to be a full year that we're doing because it's about you working on all of you, developing every aspect. And it takes time because it causes, you have to look at how you've been talking to yourself and then you have to decide to change it you have to and then that has to take hold and then you become this other person and then you un will understand this is why the only thing that you were looking for was with you everything that you wanted is right there but it's a process as we live our lives of breaking down our restrictions our limitations to accept that and it becomes that we have to decide that we're going to do it because it's a personal choice and that's what i had to do but you can apply to see me. You can apply for a, um, a, a consultation there. This is a form. Um, but just keep in mind that these next months in your life is going to bring this up for you because we're moving through a big change in the world. And so you're going to see it all. But this is the best time for you to decide who you are and, and make that move to own yourself and become authentic. That's all it is. That's the only thing that you have ever wanted in your life. All right. See you guys soon.